What up guys, it's TJT and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the blockbuster trade between the Winnipeg Jets and the Columbus Blue Jacket. Uh, they traded Patrick Line and Jack Roslevic for Pierre-Luc Dubois in a third rounder. Um, it's definitely a very interesting trade and you, if you guys follow hockey, um, you know how elite of a goal scorer Patrick Line is. So I'm going to be going over this trade kind of from both sides, how Line is going to affect the Blue Jackets and then how Pierre-Luc Dubois is going to affect the Winnipeg Jets. From the Winnipeg Jets side, it doesn't seem like a horrible trade, like considering that you're probably going to lose Line at the end of his contract regardless, then it's not really too bad. From the Blue Jackets perspective of this trade it's an amazing trade they're trading the three pick for the number two pick and a majorly underrated center back so that's an amazing return for the blue jackets especially when uh your your all-star player literally won't skate the three overall draft pick just like wouldn't skate given the few minutes of ice time he had he get, got three minutes and coach kicked him off the ice now, on paper, Line has regressed tremendously over the past few seasons, but he also like hasn't really clicked too well with some of the line mates he's been playing with. He's been getting some top line minutes with Shifley and Wheeler, and it just like really hasn't been working out too well. He hasn't put up the same numbers that he did his uh, rookie year. Uh, this trade is going to benefit him, though, uh, given that he will be the star of the offense over there, and they have some solid depth. And they're one of the top teams in the league right now, which is crazy, before they even have him. Uh, and with Pierre-Luc Dubois barely playing. Uh, they have solid depth, wingers, defense, goalie, uh, everything there to back, back him up. So I expect him to score a ton of goals once he uh, plays. And I expect him to develop into an overall player that he wants to be for the Blue Jackets and towards his system. I think he's going to thrive on that team while the while he's there um i don't know if he's gonna want to resign but that's in the future not for this year at least we all see how amazing of a goal scorer line a is but also on the jets given that top line there was a lot of offense produced besides him so they didn't necessarily need him and there definitely isn't enough scoring on the blue jackets so that's why that makes him very valuable for for the blue jackets they definitely need a top scorer if they want a championship team all championship teams pretty much have a top score in the league and we saw how like good pure luke dubois was in the playoffs last year but we've also seen how good line has been uh so they could they could sacrifice him especially when he literally like just doesn't want to be there so they could sacrifice him for the one of the best goal scorers in the league and more depth in another position in the roster. The other centers on Columbus besides Roslovic aren't really too bad either, so hopefully Line really gets some good playing time and uh, develops some chemistry with those top-line centers uh, in Domi and Texier. And they, I think they should be able to get themselves into a playoff spot. So if the Blue Jackets end up making the playoffs this year, it'd be an amazing situation to have one that would have likely cost them to miss the playoffs. But honestly, if Line A can't get them into the playoffs, it's going to be super heartbreaking. I would feel horrible for Columbus fans. If they do miss the playoffs, Line A would most likely leave Columbus or seek a trade next season. But who knows? Even if they do miss, he might want to stay. He seems super excited to be there. Um... Definitely wanted to change his scenery, but who knows how long he'll end up staying. At the beginning of the season, I definitely thought Columbus was on the verge of making the playoffs. They would have definitely been fighting for the fourth spot, and I'm not really too sure if they would have made it. In my predictions, I didn't have them making it, but now that they have Line A and Roslovic, I, I think they can definitely do it. I think Roslovic is going to play a huge role in the lineup come come later in the season in the playoffs because he did get a tiny bit of playing time with Winnipeg, but there was way too much depth in that team for him to get any real ice time, it seemed like. And yeah, that kid that kid might be pretty good. Great for the Blue Jackets, and I think it's going to lead them into a playoff spot if I haven't said that enough. 
let's get on to the Winnipeg side. So if you're a Jets fan, you're probably stoked about this trade, but also mad at the same time. For the rest of the league, it might seem like the Jets got ripped off, but this might have been one of the smartest moves for their organization all time. Uh, Dubois was chosen the pick behind line A at three for the Blue Jackets at the time of drafting. Line A made the most sense since Pierre-Luc Dubois wasn't as developed as Line A was at the time, and Line A has, was already projected to be an elite goal scorer in the NHL. The thing that brings up questions is why would you trade your second overall pick in a very undervalued center in Roslevic for the number three overall pick? From the Winnipeg side, this is exactly what they hoped for when they drafted Line A. They already had a target on Pierre-Luc Dubois before draft night, and his dad already is in the organization for the Manitoba Mooseheads as a coach. Drafting Line A at number two was a huge deal at the time, and he produced. Like, that was probably one of the smartest moves they made was drafting him that night. Pretty much it seems like they already had the mind up of holding on to him for a few years until Pierre-Luc Dubois was developed, and then they would swap swap them it seems like they've been talking about that and I think I've I think the interview with the the Jets coach said that they've been talking about it since draft night things would get really interesting though as line a would stop producing numbers for the Jets and this is definitely another reason why the trade made so much sense for them the wingers on the team had already grown and line a just wasn't producing with the other top talent that they had they have plenty of goal scorers already on the team, so it just made perfect sense. Uh, now, Pierre-Luc Dubois, what a player he is. I think he's going to tear it up on the Jets team. They definitely need some center depth. And if you see what he did in the playoffs last year, like this kid, this kid can definitely play. And he knows how to play hard. And that's exactly what you want in your trade. So, yeah, uh, I think the Jets are making a solid move with this trade and I think they're still going to make the playoffs. Uh, I think they're going to finish top four in the North division for sure. Uh, it's going to be interesting without that elite goal scorer on the team now. And I'm not really too sure how far they actually will make it. Um, as far as the Columbus Blue Jackets, I think Patrick Klein is going to lead them very solidly. Personally, I believe this trade was very fair and even overall, and it's going to end up coming down to who holds on to the assets longer and who can make a longer run in the playoffs or longer runs in the playoffs. Um, so if any of the, if either team won the Stanley Cup, uh, then it's definitely worth it for them. Um, but I think it's a very fair trade, and I think actually it might be a tiny bit better for the Blue Jackets. Uh, their team is kind of rebuilding and kind of still steady. Um, it has been, and like their talent that they're bringing up is solid. So uh, watch out for them at the end of the year if, if they're still in contention. I think they can make a push for sure. I think uh, the team that's going to end up being the long-run winner might be the Winnipeg Jets, but we'll see how it ends up going. Uh, in terms of the next two years, probably Columbus, but long term, I could see Winnipeg winning that trade. Comment down below who you think won this trade. If you guys want to see more videos like this and you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. Go follow my Instagram, guys, uh, TJT Cards, for the most recent updates. And check out my website, TJTCards.com. Uh, we're going to have some group breaks on there. And some raffles are already posted with uh, some cards also. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.